There are unique challenges that make leading Fort Wayne Community Schools a difficult task for anyone. Jeff Newmeyer is live outside Price Elementary School with more on some of the things that could keep the new superintendent, Dr. Mark Daniel, up at night, Jeff. Yeah, Krista, you got more than 30,000 students in FWCS. It's the largest school corporation in the state. Lots of diversity, uh, including a large number of students from low to moderate income households that must be served. Uh, you're not just managing teachers, students, and staff members. You've got instruction being done out of about 50 school buildings. Voters are seeing a referendum on the June 2nd primary election ballot seeking $130 million for security upgrades and window and roof replacements for more than 30 of those buildings. But the most pressing question facing the new superintendent, Dr. Mark Daniel, will in-person instruction be back in business this coming fall? If not, FWCS will be behind the eight ball more than many other school corporations. We, we estimate we have about 30% of our students that don't have internet access. So how are we gonna deal with that? Uh, we've been talking to the city of Fort Wayne about, you know, helping us uh, solve that issue. Um, what about uh, special education students? How do we reach them? Remote learning for this fall, I think it's going to be a big concern. We don't know if they're going to be back all week or some days during the week. Um, teacher pay is another issue that I hope they can address. That could be complicated uh, by budgetary issues, what she said there. If the pandemic continues to hamper the economy, will schools be expected to operate under something like a 5 or 10 percent funding cut? At 6, we'll get into uh, some other issues Dr. Daniel will have to wrestle with, like student performance on standardized testing and hiring and paying teachers. We do know that these superintendents uh, are paid well, Krista, but when you start to do a little study, you know why a lot of things to consider. Jeff, thank you for that. We'll look forward to more at 6.